Hey YouTube, it's me, Be Beautiful Locks, and I'm here with another quick update. So, um, the last time that you guys saw me, I said originally I wasn't going to do another video until next month um, for my six month lock update, but I changed my mind. I missed you guys, so I decided to go ahead and make a video today. Um, tomorrow is my five month lock anniversary so um i just wanted to tell you guys some of the things that i've changed since the last time you saw me so um right now my hair has just been freshly retwisted um for those of you who have watched my videos from the start um you guys know that i actually interlock instead of uh retwisting instead of palm rolling but I um, only wanted to interlock until I felt like my locks were beginning to lock and then I wanted to switch back to palm rolling. So um, last night I switched back to palm rolling. So I only really interlocked my hair maybe two or three times, actually just two times. And now they seem, um, they seem like they're pretty, not locked. They're not locked just yet, but they are a lot less uh, fragile I guess than they used to be in the beginning so um hopefully my retwist will stay so um my locks look a little bit different let me get closer to you guys my locks look a little bit different if you can just notice like the ends they kind of um look more like locks and that's because last night I shaped them so I had because I'm in like my fifth month for my fourth and fifth month I had really scraggly ends like the ends would just look like hair would be like down to here like some pieces of hair or just straight ends and instead of cutting them off I went and I bought this crochet hook and um, this is what it looks like um, let me see um, I got it from Joann's craft store and it's number six and it's um 1.0 millimeters so um i took this hook and i got the video to shape my locks from um i never know their names i mean i know the names if i see it but it's like her name is natural beauty on here or something I, I think i'm sorry i'm messing up your name but you guys know i'll put a link to the video in the description box she um, had a really great tutorial on how to shape your locks if you do have those scraggly ends and so I did exactly what she did in the video I, I did get a smaller crochet hook just because because I started off my um, my locks with two strand twists some of the ends of my locks are not even you know like they still look like two strand twists like they're just curled now some of them let me see um like this one that's probably one I did last night but like some of them in the back these babies back here you can tell they're just you know they're just locked but these up front they still have scraggly little skinny ends and things of that nature so um I use this and I feel like it did a really good job on my locks like I do like them I like how they're looking right now so um, I'm glad that I did that um, now when I retwisted my hair last night it took me about an hour and um, normally when I interlock I just use like some type of oil like um, coconut oil or olive oil or something um, or shea butter but um, last night I washed my hair first after I shaped my locks I washed my hair and I'm still using the same products for washing I'm using this um, Moroccan sweet Moroccan spring water deep hydration shampoo um, and there was no real reason I I used this or I decided to go with this one but it says safe for color treated hair zero sulfates um sodium chloride dyes harsh salt harsh salts parabens or gluten so it, it doesn't have any of that stuff in there and it's been working fine for my hair 
Um, it doesn't leave my hair feeling super dry or anything. So I'm just going to use it because, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So um, I'm still not using any um, conditioners. But after I wash my hair, I normally just wash it and put some oil in it and go. But um, I decided that I'm going to change my wash regimen up a little bit. Not with necessarily the shampoo, but um, the last time I made a video, I was saying how I only wash my hair when it needs to be washed and I don't really have a routine. But after kind of watching a lot more videos and just doing some research and thinking about it, you know, to promote um, healthy hair growth, you you do want to wash it routinely instead of just washing it when it needs to be washed. I mean, washing it when it needs to be washed is just keeping it clean. But I'm actually trying to promote hair growth. Like, I would like for my hair to grow faster, longer, healthier, um, shinier. So keeping a clean scalp will definitely help promote um, promote hair growth. So I decided I'm either going to start washing my hair once a week or once every two weeks. I'm not sure just yet, but I have noticed that with this color, I do need to um, keep it moisturized very well. So I can't do the same things that I was doing back when my hair was like that dark brown. I didn't have any color in it. Um, it was just my regular color. Um, I would be able to wash it and kind of just lightly spritz some oil in it and I could go but now because I have this blonde I really need to keep my hair moisturized because it has been feeling a little bit dry so right now I um I'm using this leave-in conditioner it's called it's from cream of nature it's called argan oil um and it's it's my daughter's <laughs> I use it in her hair but I was like hmm why not? I'll just try it in mine. So I just started it. So I don't know, you know, like I don't have a, a big update to give you on this yet, on this product. But I'll let you guys know how it does for my hair. Um, and then last night after that, I oiled my hair, my scalp with coconut oil. Um, which is, you know, coconut oil is like the holy grail. Like... It works wonders for everything. Like it's good on your skin, on your hair. Um, you can cook with it. But I must say, this is, it works better on my skin than it does my hair. Um, with my hair, I've noticed that coconut oil, I think coconut oil has like a lot of protein in it. Um, which kind of makes your hair, can make your hair um, a little rough. So I try not to use coconut oil as much on my hair, especially like in the winter time when the climate changes. Um, I try to go for a different type of oil, but I mean it does it does the job. I still like it. it it's just it's just not my everything for my hair. I, I don't like it as much for my hair as I do for my skin. I've been using coconut oil for years though. I've been a a natural a loose natural for forever. So. Um, I've been using coconut oil since like back in, I don't even know, like 2005 for my skin and then I started using it for my hair and it's just, it's okay for my hair. I don't mind it. Um, and then um, of course I have this little spray bottle which has olive oil, um, Jamaican black castor oil and one more oil, oh and tea tree oil in there. So I, you know, still spray my hair with this every day, every morning. Or at night, um, I'm spraying my hair with this. And then sometimes I use shea butter. So I'm, I'm trying not to be a product junkie. But like I said, because I have this color in my hair now, I really need to keep it moisturized. And I'm kind of just going through a couple of different products to see what works best. So um, hopefully I can minimize the products. But until I find out what works best for my hair, I am going to have to go through some of them. Um, so because I just decided to start retwisting my hair again, the last time, the first time that I retwisted my hair, when I first started my locks, I used, um, I used the aloe vera gel and, um, I used to use this when I was a loose natural. So I've had this for like two years. I don't really use a lot of gel in my hair. Um, but this stuff is supposed to be pretty good. It contains no alcohol, um, no color added. 
Um, so it's supposed to be pretty good. It's 100% aloe vera gel. Um, so I used a lot of it last night because of the texture of my hair and I really wanted my retwist to stay. Um, and I actually did my hair like at 11 o'clock last night and then slept on it with clips in. So when I woke up this morning at 6, it was not completely dry, which sucked. But I didn't have any choice. I had to go to work, so I took the clips out. But um, the first time I used... The, I mean, the second time I retwisted my hair, like palm rolled it, I used this lock-in twist gel by Oris. And um, this stuff holds really well, but it left a it left flakes in my hair me personally so I haven't used it since then um, but it's like um, I don't know it's cool it's it's not bad but like I said since it you it left flakes in my hair I wasn't like a big fan of it so I probably won't use it again it'll probably just sit in here until unless like I have nothing to retwist my hair with I'll I might use that um I hope my camera has been focusing this whole time. I don't know. I guess we'll see when I watch the video. Um, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, so let me let me show you guys my retwist. So I think it came out pretty well. I hope I'm in the camera. Uh, I'll come close. And I never know what my retwists look like in the back because when I'm doing my hair, I'm not even really looking in the mirror. I'm just like twisting and clipping. That's all I'm doing. Palm rolling and clipping and palm rolling and clipping. So like <laughs> I never really know what exactly it's looking like in the back at least. And I've also been doing really good about wearing something to tie my hair up at night. So with me doing that, um, hopefully my retwists last longer because in the beginning, the whole reason why I switched to interlocking is because my retwists weren't lasting. And But it probably has something to do with I never ever tied my hair up. But now I've been tying my hair up every night and um, hopefully that just, you know, helps it do better. So, um let's see what else guys um i don't know about like because i because i did that whole um crochet hook thing to make like shaping my locks it pro it made them a little bit shorter but um you know whatever that's fine um but i don't know i think for five months it's looking pretty good like i'm happy with it i just recently had box braids again so i got this color in box braids i did them myself me and my mom and um i kept them in for two weeks now the first time i had the box braids i kept them in for six weeks this time i only kept them in for two weeks and one is because like i said i didn't really want to interrupt the budding process um and the second reason i only kept them for two weeks is you guys are gonna love this one i missed my locks like I was so excited about missing my locks because, I mean, especially for them to be in such an awkward stage right now, like, I really, like, real life miss my locks. I could not wait to take those braids out just to see my locks. So, um, that's cool. I mean, I don't know. I just feel good about, like, liking my own natural hair and not feeling like I needed a weave to cover up because if you know me, like, I love me a weave or... A hairstyle like some type of extensions um, but to love my own natural hair and can't wait to take my weave out or my or my braids out to see my hair that's big 
for me. So, um, yeah, so that was cool. Um, so I took them out after two weeks and I, I didn't regret it. I mean, like I didn't get it done professionally, so it wasn't like I really wasted my money or anything. Um, but yeah, I think that's the end of the road for styles, like extensions or anything for me. Um, because I just, I don't know, I love my hair. So, um, you know, that's always a good thing. But, um, anyway, so yeah, guys, I just wanted to come up here and, and show you guys how my hair is doing for now. And, um, maybe I'll come back again next month and give you my six month walk update but we are moving right along um honestly it seems like i wish i could say it's going by so fast it's not <laughs> it's actually going by like super slow it's probably a test like the whole point of me doing this was to um was to learn patience and i'm like oh my god it's only five months like i feel like i've had these in forever but um, I'm really, really enjoying them at this point. So that's cool. Um, all right, YouTube. Well, it's been real. I'll see you guys on my next video. All right. Bye.